In this lesson, we'll build upon what we learned using the radar scan mode to locate targets, lock them up with sensors, and launch a missile at it. First, go ahead and enter BVR scan mode by pressing the 2 key. Alright, now go ahead and press I to turn on the radar. In the center of the HUD, you'll notice a rectangular box. This is your target designator, or TDC. You'll use the TDC to lock targets displayed on the HUD. Move the TDC around using semicolon up, period down, comma left, and slash right. Because we have some air-to-air -air missiles loaded for this lesson, you can see the selected missile type indication below the antenna elevation scale. In this case, 27ER, it stands for the R27ER Long Range Radar Guided Missile. You can cycle the missile type by pressing the D key. Once you feel you have the hang of moving the TDC around, press the spacebar. I have now activated a hostile aircraft coming directly at you, co-altitude. You can see them on your radar as a line, two dashed marks. Move your TDC over the contact and press enter to lock it up. Once locked up, press the spacebar. Now that you have the target locked up, you have some new information displayed on the HUD. The circle in the HUD indicates the location of the locked target as seen through the HUD. Above your altitude indication in small numbers is the altitude of the locked target. Above your speed indication is the speed of the locked target. The A symbol to the left of the range scale indicates that the fire control system is an automatic one and will automatically change the range scale to match the range to the locked target. Attached to the bottom of the range scale is an arrow that indicates target vector. If the arrow is pointed down, it is flying towards you. If it is pointing to the right, it is flying from left to right, and so on. Along the inside of the range scale are three bars and an arrow. These indicate key range indications. The arrow indicates the target range in reference to the range scale. The top bar is the R-max indication and represents the maximum flight range of the missile. The middle bar is the RTR indication that represents the maximum range that you can launch the missile and still expect to hit the target, even if the target maneuvers defensively. The bottom bar is the R-min indication that lets you know the minimum range at which you can launch the missile and still expect to hit the target. Once the target range arrow reaches the R-max bar, you'll see an LA launch authorization indication on the HUD. However, Let's wait until the target reaches the RTR indication, and then press the trigger on the joystick, or press the space bar to launch the missile. Nice job. That was pretty easy, huh? Press D now to select the R27ET, Long Range Infrared Guided Missile. As before, slew the TDC over the new target flying away from you to lock it up and launch the missile. Well done. The R-27ET is a good missile to use in concert with the Erst for stealthy attacks. Those are the basics of using air-to-air -air missiles. You can end the lesson now.